Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. This is my first video back since, well, you guys know the big old fun sickness I've had for the last week. I think, what is today? Uh, today's Thursday. Last Wednesday, I started <clears throat> feeling a little congested, started coughing some. I knew something was wrong. Got up Thursday morning and could barely breathe. Kind of felt like the first time I had it. This is the second time I've had this. First time was when it very first came out back in, what, March of 2020. Um, I woke up that night and I couldn't even breathe. I had to sit up three nights in a row. This one's not as bad. Of course, I've had my vaccine shots and the boosters. <clears throat> but it got me. I think it was because <clears throat> our... <clears throat> excuse me. That's why I have sweet tea sitting back here. Everything's... I'm feeling totally better. Except I can't get rid of this cough. And I remember the last time. I had to call for quite some time over, over a month, but our youngest son, his wife, and two daughter, our two sons, our grandsons came down and went to Dollywood, not this past weekend, the weekend before, and I think that's where I picked it up, so it's, it's a pain in the butt, <clears throat> but I'm getting through it, so today I thought I'd show you one of the things that I've been craving, let me get my little bowl out here, it's just a cucumber tomato salad. And it's not the cucumber and onion salad that I think I've shown you guys before. This one's got tomatoes in it. It's a creamy dressing type on it. And it's refrigerated. Real good for when I get back out on our farmstead. Haven't been, well, went up there yesterday. Because I just needed to be part of the land. And it was just, it was great. We went, parked, <clears throat> and walked up the lane and just looked at everything it was just so relaxing and i got our trail cams and went through them and remember that deer i showed you the picture of the fawn well that was just a picture we've set <clears throat> the trail cams up to go do video now so this time when i went up there we got a video of mama and her fawn and her other fawn she has twins i couldn't believe it i thought she looked kind of big when i first we first moved here and got a picture of her and but then we only saw the one fawn in the picture ever we've seen it a couple times but this time with the video we saw both of them scampering and I'll show you a video right here this is her the two of them following mama down our top driveway and it's just beautiful to see these things still on our property so okay so I got two cucumbers I'll tell you what I've got to start with. i got two large cucumbers. i got a large tomato. You can use two medium-sized tomatoes if you want. I've got an onion. I'm going to use half the onion. I've got garlic uh, powder. I've got dill weed. Sour cream. I'm going to use half a cup. And a couple splashes of apple cider vinegar. This time I saw some green onions I wanted to grab at the store and haven't had any for a while. So I grabbed them. I'm going to put them in there too. Give it a little bit of color. And I just like the difference in the taste from the spring onions or green onions and the regular white onion so finally got one of my big knives I'm just going to slice this down the middle and take a spoon and get these seeds out just scrape them out into the bowl I've missed being with you guys I've had no energy I mean, none, zero. I'd get up, last couple days I'd get up and I felt really good. And then around 12 noon, I just kind of crashed. So I feel for those of you who have got it. And if you do get it, it's not fun. The hardest part is knowing I can't go up and work on the farmstead. Because I would collapse. So let's just get this all out. Now, different from the cucumber onion salad, instead of slicing these, we're going to be dicing them. And I'm going to, I've learned being in this camper to get as few dishes as possible messed up. So I'm going to actually make it in the Tupperware bowl that I'm going to use to put it in the refrigerator. So I'm mixing it and then putting it in there. <clears throat> all right, got all that out. So let's just dice these up. Let 
And I'm just going to do these maybe in thirds. This big knife is a little too big for this. I can do this a lot quicker this way. I appreciate all the kind words y'all have been sending messages on Facebook and also on YouTube. If you want, if I'm not on for a while, if you look at my Greg's Kitchen on Facebook or the community tab here on YouTube, you can get to it. If you're not on your TV, you can't, but on your um, laptop, iPhone, iPad, whatever you have, just go to my main page on YouTube, and there's a button that says Community. It's just like Facebook. You can, I can, you know, communicate with you there, post pictures, and I always try to keep up on there and a lot on Facebook. So if you don't see me for a while, just check those out, and you'll see maybe why you haven't seen me. But also, thanks for a couple cards I got. You guys are sweet and kind, and I appreciate it. Mom's been trying to keep up. She's going stir-crazy right now, wanting to come down here because she's five hours away. I keep saying she'll just come down, she'll sleep in her car, she'll sleep in the hotel and take care of her. No, stay where you're at. But one bad thing did happen. She has got a beautiful garden this year. Beautiful. And this is why I keep telling everybody things are getting rough. She went out the other day because she had lots of tomatoes to pick. And she's going to make salsa. And when she went out, someone had picked all of her tomatoes and all of her green beans that were ready. It wasn't an animal. Nothing was torn up. You could see where they just probably took scissors or something real quick and went through and clipped them all off. Someone stole all of her tomatoes and all of her green beans that were ready. She's heartbroken. So we have to be careful right now. Maybe it was somebody that really needed it. But like mom said, she would give it to anybody that needed it. But just the fact that they came in the middle of the night and took her stuff and she's just heartbroken about it. So she's waiting for her next crop of tomatoes to come on so she can start canning again. Let me get this cleaned up. And since I'm going to dice it, I got this one's a little underripe, just a little bit, so it's firm. I wanted a little bit more firm without all the juice in there to add to this. And it seemed to fit the bill. So that's what I got. I should have sliced down the middle first, shouldn't have I? There we go. Now we can dice it. This is just going to be a nice, cool salad. I could eat this all by itself. When I come in, it's hot out after working all day. It's also a great side dish. What I'm going to do is pull my cutting board back, and I'm just going to pull this right into here. Any juice is going to get caught in that little rim there. Hey, that worked out perfect. Now let's do this one. Slice it that way. But in the summer, the main thing I want to eat is just cold salads or a tomato sandwich. It was nice when I drove up there yesterday because I'm about half hour, 45 minutes from our property right now where we're staying in the camper till we can get the camper up there, which is another story. And saw the fruit stands and farmer stands along the road. I loved it. But I was going to tell you about our driveway. We can't get the camper up there right now. Hold on a second, let me. My nose is itching and I'm going to sneeze. There we go. Get rid of that. So we can't get the camper up there because our driveway is needing fixed. <laughs> it's got a lot of holes in it. So we went three weekends ago. Got two big trailers full of crushed gravel. Filled in the majority of them. Some of the holes are great. Ruts are about that deep. So it's hard getting the truck up there in the trailer when we was taking something up. So we felt great. Oh my gosh, we had that done. It was great. It rained that week. Really bad. And we went back up there and our two big trailer full of gravel were down in the bottom of the, bank, uh, the drive and in the creek. So we realized we need 
heavier gravel because we are up so high that when the water comes down it just flows like a river so we we're learning but <clears throat> it'll take a while so as soon as we get that done this camper will be on the Cumberlatch farmstead and I'll be cooking from there indoors and out before then I'll still do some cooking <clears throat> on the land over the campfire might get a grill and I've got the all that cast iron to use so let's just chop this up real quick and hush my mouth so you all can see what we're gonna make I just like the color of this green that's gonna add to that this cucumber is not real green once you peel it gonna cheat again pull this back All right, I'm getting her a drink of this tea because I feel a cough coming on. All right, now I'm only going to use half an onion. We'll put this over here to the side. We'll use it on something else. Get this peeled off. Guess we don't need that spoon anymore, do we? I really have come accustomed to this little kitchen. Got everything out lined up pretty good. Seasonings and small bowls here. My glassware, southern glassware. That's all I'm going to use. It's up here with some snack goods and canned goods are over in the other cabinet. I didn't think I was going to be able to get organized. But I've learned to buy just what I need. What I'm going to be cooking with the next couple days on the way home from work or the land. And that's all we're keeping because this refrigerator doesn't hold like my old one. All right, I'm just dicing this up about a quarter inch. There we go. This bowl, I finally got something the right size. Oops. Okay, let's set all this aside because we are done with cutting board. Now, I'm going to take another small bowl. We're going to mix up. <clears throat> I'm going to use about a half a cup of sour cream. And I thought I had another spoon out here, but I do not. Maybe a little more. Probably about three-fourths of a cup. I'm going to use about four tablespoons of dill. I looked for fresh dill, could not find it. I went to the grocery this morning, could not find it anywhere. So, unfortunately, we're going to use dried. And about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And a splash or two of vinegar. I'm just using apple cider vinegar. And I haven't unpacked my measuring spoons yet. I don't use measuring spoons a whole lot. So I just kind of estimate. So I'm going to use about two teaspoons of sugar. And just mix this all up together. And get the wooden spoon so you don't hear all the clanking of the metal and the glass. Starting to lose a little energy. I can feel it. It's around noon, one o'clock, I start losing energy. So, I'm going to use my finger. Need some salt. Totally forgot the salt. So, maybe about half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon. Throw some back in there for good measure. <clears throat> At least I can taste it. I did lose smell and taste for citrus and the reason I found out is one of my friends here that I met at work she had COVID a couple about a month ago a month and a half ago and she said because I could I was coughing and congested she said put Vicks on that'll help when got Vicks I saw this new stick Vicks that you just like 
a deodorant stick. I thought that might work, but I'm going to grab the regular Vicks too, just in case. I got home, opened it up, smelled like, this doesn't even smell like Vicks. I don't want this stuff. So I opened up the regular Vicks, couldn't smell it either. That's when I kind of panicked. I kind of went through all these cabinets in the refrigerator, just tasting everything. I couldn't taste orange juice. I couldn't taste grapefruit. There's a soda me and my dad drink. It's called Squirk. Could not taste it. It just tastes like water. Got concerned that I would not be able to taste and smell these things again. And what about my cooking? Luckily, garlic I could taste. My, all my seasonings, tomatoes, salsa. I could still taste that stuff, so I was kind of happy. This morning, I opened the Vicks because I've been doing it every day, and I could smell it. So I am happy I can smell again. So those people, I did lose the smell and taste the first time. But this one kind of startled me because I could mess up my cooking. Okay, I'm just going to pour all this in here. Or actually scrape it all in here. And we get a spatula. I'm going to get all this out. Got all kinds of things I want to show you guys. Recipes that I found. Things I want to cook up at the farmstead in the cast iron. And then everything just crashed. <laughs> okay, so let's, oops, onion overboard. The only thing I don't like about this is it's got everything piled here and it looks dirty to y'all. But we'll get it figured out. So I'm just going to mix this all together. This is going to go in the refrigerator. I like to do it at least two to three hours in the refrigerator so all the flavors can meld together. But once it's in there for a couple hours, nice and cold, I could come back and just eat this all by itself for dinner. Kind of like eating a tomato sandwich. All right. So there we go. And get another spoon. Let's give this a taste for seasoning. Mm. That's perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. That is perfect. It tastes amazing. So put this in the refrigerator. Let's sit at least two hours. Overnight's even better. Tomorrow this will be really good. Let's give it a stir. The juices are going to come out of the cucumber and the tomato. It's all going to come together. It's going to taste great. So again, thank you guys for being so patient. I'm sorry I was out for about a week. I'm um, going to try to do some more videos this weekend, and we'll have those uploaded along with the ones mom's doing. So I appreciate you guys standing by me, and I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.